Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming Jay, and today we're hopping into the world of Darius, which is a side scrolling shoot 'em up, similar to um, Salamander and many other games. <laughs> Can't think of a single other one. What's really interesting about this one is the very wide view. This is a really wide view. And actually really small yet detailed sprite. So I'm kind of curious to hop into this one and see how it plays out. But look how wide this view is. And you shoot a couple of bullets and then you have to wait until they hit something before you can shoot again. So, oh, and, and you can't hit the roofs. Oh my God. And you just respawn if you die. All right. Well, good to know. Um, anyway, we'll see how far we can get in this one. Um, I kind of want to look up the arcade machine for this one to see what it actually looked like Because I'm kind of curious to see like did it have a wraparound view or something like again with a view this big This wide you would imagine that uh, Oh, we got shields you imagine that there might be something going on here. I guess this is like our type That's the game. I'm thinking of where you get all these different power-ups and your ship becomes like a beast eventually. Oh, 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 nice try. Oh, nice. I had shields. They helped me. Having a little bit of shields certainly helps life. Kill this guy. Oh, yeah, give me that blue. So blue is armament. Green is bomb. Red is missile. Oh, what got me? I just straight up died randomly there. Oh, that sucks. Now I'm underpowered. Uh, so yeah, we have all the different colors. We don't have yellow. Yellow's just generically good, maybe. Whoa, yikes. Okay, I'm gonna try and kill this red guy. He's got the power-up that I want. Oh, and a green one. Get it! <laughs> I'm kind of digging this music, too, actually. It reminds me of, like, DOS game music, actually. Like, uh... From the era of, like, Dune 2 and stuff. Oh my god, bullets everywhere. Okay, in theory... Oh, jeez. In theory, there's a missile button. But I don't know what it is. Oh my god. I can drop bombs. Jeez, there's guys everywhere. Okay, when those missile guys from the ceiling die, they, um... They explode, so I think that's what killed me before. Oh, well, there we go. Having a little bit of shields is actually really good. Warning, a huge battleship, King Fossil, is approaching. Fast. Alright, I'm severely underpowered, but let's do this thing. I'm gonna throw some more quarters in. Oh my god, I threw in like seven. Wait, hold on. Thought maybe my controller was on turbo mode again. I didn't realize this, but the controller that I use sometimes for these emulated games has a turbo button. And sometimes it's it's just on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay, there goes our shields. Oh god, oh god. Okay, I don't know how to damage this guy. He's seeming... Oh, crap. I moved into that. Ah, oh, shit. Like, it seems... Like I... Like, turbo is on. Because I can just hold the button and it fires very rapidly. The turbo might accidentally be on. I don't know how to actually turn it off. Yeah, and if I press select once, it... It registers, like, four times. So, clearly turbo's on. I guess we're cheating today. Jeez. Using a turbo controller in an arcade would be a bit of an advantage, you know? Turbo controllers, I feel like, were always controversial when you played at home. Because it's like, technically, they were like, legal controllers. Um... You know, like, the cops weren't gonna arrest you for using them or anything. But they did give you an unfair advantage in some video games where fast fingers mattered. Eat it, space fish. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I think definitely in the world of speedrunning and stuff, you're not supposed to use a turbo controller. And especially in the arcade, since you'd actually have to hack the machine, you're not supposed to use a turbo controller. Well, that was cool. We could have gone up or down. 
We are now rushing into C-Zone. I'm really liking the graphics in this. They're actually, they feel quite advanced for the time. Peace. I kind of wish there was a way to turn off this turbo button thing. Oh, come here, you. Oh! I got an upgraded bomb then died instantly. Okay, hold on. Let's see what I can do about this turbo. Okay, that, that did absolutely nothing. So the controller that I'm using is an iBuffalo controller, and it has a turbo and a clear button. And if I press turbo, I mean, it's the same. So if I press clear, it's the same. So I don't know. Maybe turbo is, is a thing that you can do in this game. Maybe holding the button is legit. I don't, I don't fully know. I can only assume it is, or my controller might be broken somehow. Give me that green. And my bombs are double powered. And the bombs are kind of useless. Also, another thing about this game is like the music is so loud you can barely hear the um you can barely hear the sound effects. Yes. Okay, I think missile is just my standard gun, actually. For some reason, I thought arm was the standard gun. Oh, an orange thing flew up there. That might have been shields. Whoa, baby. Oh, there's a blue one up there, too, that I missed. There's so much crap on the screen. I, I literally can't process it all. My, I don't have enough neurons in my brain. Oh, God, missiles everywhere. I can't believe I'm surviving this long. Frankly, a homing missile got me. Ugh. It's so dejecting to start back at absolute zero whenever you die in a game like this. Like, you lose all your power-ups. You could be powered to the max. And if you die, you're done, you know? I feel like these games would do well to just, like, when you die, you lose, like, one level of power on everything or something. So it's only if you die repeatedly that you really, like, go back to zero. Because it is, it is hard to get maxed out, and it is really satisfying to be powered up. Like, I have no power-ups. Kinda sucks. I'm fighting Electric Fan C. Alright. Or if these skulls before the boss could drop, like, a ton of power-ups just to, like, speed power you in case you've died, that would be nice. Is it literally an electric fan? Just, like, shooting lasers at me? Oh, God. Oh, shit. Can't believe all this, like, little, uh, flying guys haven't got me. Oh, there it goes. That was just a matter of time. I guess I should just always hold both buttons. Because there's no reason not to also drop missiles. Oh god. So I guess the purpose of those little probes is to keep you from just going up near the boss and, like, spamming missiles and stuff. But we're not a very good listener, so... Oh, get in there! Do the damage, oh god. Do the damage. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I don't even know if we're hitting this thing. Oh! Oh! Oh god! Oh, I can't survive much longer! Die already! Please die! Tell me that you're taking damage. Oh my god, I can't keep doing this. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, it's too stressful. Oh! God. No! Oh, I thought I was dead right there! Oh, I thought I was dead right there! These little things flying at you are impossible to dodge! Although somehow I have actually technically avoided them. For this long- Oh, I'm dead! No, I'm not! Oh, what's coming up behind me? Unfair- No! Come on! Let's try one more time. Oh! It let me respawn right here, yes! Okay, come on! Why are there things coming up behind me? This is unfair, this is so unfair, just die already! Please die. Please die. Oh god, I'm trying to get closer to him, but he's like backing off. He's smart. Can't believe I'm still alive. Oh no, there you go. Shit. 
And now he just respawns all his health. All right, well, this is impossible. Um, I think when we die this time, we will let it go and restart the game. Um, and try and take the path upwards next time. Now oh, we're just dead. We should probably just suicide. Although, let's try it. Who knows, maybe we'll surprise ourselves and actually beat the boss. Like, missiles or bombs or whatever are totally useless against bosses. First of all, because they have a thousand billion tiny things flying around interfering with your ability to shoot them. And, all right, buddy. Oh, I was gonna try and dump bombs on him and then he killed me. Uh, press the one player button before the timer reaches zero. Eh, time up. You know, another thing, uh, we could technically do is, uh, set our controller up to control player two as well and insert two quarters and do, like, player one, player two at the same time. That could be kind of interesting. Technically, I think that's cheating, sort of, but I mean, you could do that in the arcade. You could put a quarter in, uh... <gasps> two controllers, and technically... And it'd be hard to have enough hands to do it all, but you technically could play two players at once. There's nothing in the arcades to stop you. No arcade policeman will come and rain on your parade. Look at that. And now that I know how important the power-ups are, and I've played the harder levels, these early levels seem really basic. Oh, you hit my shield, man. Oh, come here. Oh, that green guy. He got away. That's okay. Plenty more where that came from. I need the red one so that my bullets start doing more damage. Nothing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I died. I, there's the red one. That's the one we want. Yes. All right. Upgraded guns. Oof. I feel like when we first played this level, we were just trying to survive. But now I'm like trying to get like uh, certain upgrades. Oh God! And they're all gone. All right. I think we are going to. Uh, I think the only way we're going to make it anywhere in this game is to have two players at the same time. And player two will just sort of be our cannon fodder to back us up. I like that idea. All right. Suicide! <laughs> Let's game the system, guys. We're a rich kid with four hands. Let's double team this thing. All right. Two for the price of one. And I guess I'll try and get all the upgrades on the red ship. So the blue ship is literally just there to support me. It's the red ship that needs everything. And we'll just try and keep it alive. Now it kind of reminds me of, uh, what is it, Galaxian or whatever, where you can, like, use one of your extra lives. Oh, we want that. Oh, I can't believe we got it. Where you can use one of your extra lives to, like, actively bring a ship out. Yes. All right. Upgrades are going well. Keep the red guy alive at all costs. Blue guy had to be sacrificed there. Gonna have to be sacrificed again. He's in a bad position. Oh, we can line him up. There we go. Oh, jeez. That was weird. I, I couldn't shoot for a second there. Be dropping bombs, too. Okay. <laughs> I like how the blue guy is just, like, taking hits left and right. Respawn, buddy. Need your help. You gotta help keep me alive. Oof, oof. Oof. I'm not even, like, really watching the blue guy for most of it. I assume he's behind me somewhere dying. Oh, damn it. Oh. Okay. Oh, God. No, don't kill the red guy. Oh, there's more power. Okay, we missed that one. Oh, we can still get it. Yes. Is the blue guy still around? Respawn him. <laughs> I'm sorry, blue guy. I'm sorry that you're just cannon fodder to me. Ooh, we got a shield. That'll help. Oof, oof. Took two hits there. Oof.
Oof. All right, well, we got pretty powered up there. That strategy kind of worked. That was kind of fun. Run some more quarters. All right, blue guy, it's up to you. Let me take this guy down. I feel like this game was designed for two players, and I don't feel like there were fewer enemies when I played it one player, so I kind of feel like... It's just harder if you play one player. It was kind of meant for you to be doing what I'm doing right now. Not, I mean, it was meant for you to actually have a friend, not to just play both players yourself like some kind of loser. Um, but, you know. Like, look how much easier that was to kill that guy. Yes. Hey, that said, even though Zone C is familiar, we're going to go up this time. And line up with me, blue guy. Get in formation. I'm curious to see how much... Oh, I think the blue guy just... <laughs> I didn't even realize that was terrain. That's funny. Form up, blue guy. I like how the blue guy's ahead of me. He can sort of like, you know... Okay, so that is terrain that will kill you. I had to test it on the blue guy. That we knew. Oh shit! <laughs> I think I accidentally tried to keep the blue guy alive. And in the process, I killed the red guy. All that work! That perfect run of level one for the red guy. Thrown away. Like trash. And now we're in so much trouble. Well, maybe it won't matter. Where's that blue guy? Ooh, double shield. I'll take it. That blue guy's just dying like crazy. He sucks. Wow. Look at these bullets everywhere, man. You know what? Sometimes the blue guy actually survives for a surprising amount of time. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, well, thank God I had shields on the red guy there. Although we're about to go down. Whoa! Blue guy, where are ya? Get your lazy butt over here. Oh my god, no! Well, I didn't really have that many good power-ups anyway. The best power-up is the red one, because then it just makes your standard gun do more. Jeez. Even though I'm totally ignoring the blue guy, it is still hard to keep the red guy alive. And he's like, dead, dead, where he has to continue. Okay, so here's the one major advantage of playing two players. Um, if you die, you don't restart the level. Like, remember when we were playing, and we would die, and then it would, like, reset us back to a checkpoint or something? In two players, you get to just keep playing from where you left off. That is a huge advantage that I think that will... That alone, forget about whether we have double the firepower or we're able to keep the red guy alive longer. The fact that you can just continue to respawn um, without resetting a boss or a level, I think that's a key, man. But I think... Oh, it's the same boss. Well, we definitely should have gone to Zone C, because that one was way easier than what we just did. Oh, God. Oh, no! We both died. Oh, and it does reset. Okay. So, if you both die, that's the only time that it will fully reset. So don't both die, I guess, is the key. Oh god. Alright, I'm just gonna try and keep the red guy alive, and I'm gonna hope in the background the blue guy is surviving sometimes, too. Whoa. Oh, it's so hard! No! Blue guy! Yes! Where's the other guy? Spawn, you bitches! Okay, maybe I'll try and keep the blue guy alive right now. Whoever is closer to him, I'm gonna try and keep him alive. Oh, now it's on the red guy. Okay, just keep- continue to spawn, guys. Oh, we did it! See, that was near impossible with one player, but with two players, that was like way more doable. This game is definitely meant for two players. One player is a trap. In formation, blue guy. Roger that, red guy. Oh, God! <laughs> Blue guy just got destroyed. I said we're going up, you idiot! B-zone is over. We're now rushing into D-zone. 
Get your D's on, boys. It's time for the action to begin. Blue guy's dead already. I didn't know those mountains were more than scenery. In the tradition of Silver Surfer, everything you touch kills you. Hey, we're blue guy, where are you, man? Back out here. Oh, yeah. All right, red guy is starting to power up. You can feel the power coursing through his veins. Okay. Oh, there's a blue power up. Oh, nice. Almost killed the red guy to get it. Oh my god. Come on, red power up. Or none. That sucks. Oh god. These things that like fly around you at all sorts of weird angles are really deadly. Oh. Oh, there's another red one. The one we won! Oh, no! I died trying to get it! Blue guy, we're screwed, man. I screwed us up. Where are you? Get back over here. Oh, jeez. Alright, you take the lower, I'll take the upper, blue guy. Blue guy, seems like suicide what you're doing. You know what sucks is once you... Once you have a bunch of power-ups, it's so much easier to kill guys and get more power-ups. But if you have few power-ups, it's hard to, like, kill that one or two guys that you need to to get a basic power-up. So it's sort of like the rich get richer, and the weak... No! Give me that! Oh, I think I got a red power-up at the last second. Last conceivable moment. Alright. Stay in formation, blue guy. It's like every time two guys go into battle in these old video games, one guy has to wear red pants and the other guy blue pants. Like, think of Contra, you know? It's like the exact same as the other boss. Oh, God. Except... Uh... Slight variation, but... Come on, blue guy, keep spotting! They only defeat you if you stop spawning. Get back in here, buddy. Lucky we're rich and quarters mean nothing! <laughs> How does the red guy keep surviving, but the blue guy doesn't? No! Okay, what happened there, blue guy? What happened? It all fell apart. Um, I would be very impressed to see a speedrunner do this solo without getting killed. Like, it probably takes quite a bit of skill. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, can I just do this? This seems to work. I don't know if I'm damaging him or not. But it's a good place for the red guy to survive. Oh, no! Maybe the blue guy will stay here now. Aha. Again, I don't know if we're damage we're actually damaging him or anything. Oh, his hand blew off. No. Oh, okay, that guy died. Oh god. Oh, we did it! <laughs> the red guy died as the blue- as the crab died, too, at the same time. Victory! Play the heroic Sega Genesis sounding music. Um, yeah, but it's funny when two allies go into battle in these old video games. One is always wearing red, the other blue. Red and blue ships, red and blue pants. Bandanas, maybe, is another one. Oh, blue guy, you- <laughs> How do you die in the level transition part? We're into the G zone. How far into the game are we? Does it go to the Z zone? Or do we cap out at the M zone? 
Come on, drop some kind of power up, you bitch. Nothing. Oh, the red guy died. Oh well. It's pretty inconsequential. Oh, except give me a red. Yes. Yeah, double power up. Okay, that's good. That's good. Double red power up! Fuck! We just got that too! We could have had triple red. Oh, I can't even pick it up because I'm blinking! What kind of game doesn't let you pick up a power up if you're blinking? So cruel. So cruel. That's just inhuman, man. That's just inhuman. What is jumping behind us? What the hell is that thing? It took my shields. It killed me. Whatever, the green guy can finally have a power-up, who cares? They don't last very long anyway, trust me, green guy, or blue guy, whatever. Power-ups are not all they're cracked up to be, although you seem to do pretty good holding on to that. Ooh, but the red guy now has a power-up of his own. Whoa. Alright, red guy's a priority, because he's got the powered-up gun. Oh. Flip. Flippin' flippities. Oh, double shield. Oh no, we lost it. One already. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Oh my god, there's so much on the screen. Oh my god, another red! Did I get it? Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh no, 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 somebody spawn! Oh, thank god. Blue guy. A huge battle. The fatty glutton. I like how we lost our power-up weapons right near the boss. Like, obviously, it's gonna come at that time. Let's kill all these weird skull probe thingies. What the hell? We killed this guy already. Whoa. Oh, his fishes explode into... thingies this time. Oh. Whatever, we're just going for it, man. No strategy, no tactics. Just unlimited respawns. That's my strategy, fish man. Wow, that was so much easier than the crab or even the fan guy. Victory! I think we got this, guys. I think with, uh... Playing two players. See, I again, I think the key thing is that if you die single player, um, you get sent back to a checkpoint. But if you die two players, and the second player is still alive, you get to keep going. That is a crucial difference. It's part of what makes Contra, even though Contra was a one-hit kill game, it was actually way more manageable than many other one-hit kill games that were out around that time. Because many other one-hit kill games, when you got hit, you went back to, you know, the game faded to black, and then you, you respawned. But in Contra, you respawned exactly where you died. And I feel like if you're going to do a one-hit kill game, you at least need the instant respawn. I think that makes the one-hit kills reasonable. Otherwise, I think they're just abusive. <laughs> I think it's being in an abusive relationship with the game developers if they're doing that to you. They're one-hit killing you, and they're not even letting you respawn, not even having the goddamn common courtesy let you respawn where you died. Jeez. Oh. Gun! I got gun! I'm not gonna last very long. Oh, God. I think we're underwater in this one, by the way. What is that, shield? That's bombs. The highest powered weapon we ever saw was when we did level 1 very well and we got like level 3 or 4 of the missiles. Oh, we got shields. That will certainly help. Oh, took a hit. Jeez. Blue guy's just behind me like dying like crazy. Oh god. Oh god. Well, I killed myself there. No one to blame but me. 
Okay, one of us should die. I guess red's gonna die, so that we're out of sync for lives. I guess blue guy's going for the power-ups. This is a change. Where are you, red guy? Alright, we're gonna keep blue guy alive, finally. Keen Bayonet K. A huge battleship. Going in more quarters, just to stay safe. All right, here it is. All these, all these battleships are just fish. It's just fish-themed enemies. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. And your lasers. Oh, we killed us both at the same time. No, and that caused us to respawn. Oh, the double kill. That's why you don't want to be lined up or anything, because if you both go down to the same shot, that's when you get screwed. Alright, here we go. Okay, there goes that guy. Oh, there goes that guy. Wonder if there's like a dead zone I can hang out in. Nope. Spawn, dude. I guess the other strategy is if you go down fast enough, the other guy is still invincible from having recently respawned. <laughs> So you don't have to worry about if he's in sync or not. <laughs> so another pro tip is just have your ally die as fast as possible once you respawn. Oh, and that's exactly what we're doing. Working out well for us. It's hilarious. He can't kill us both at the same time because one guy's always invincible from having just from having died so recently. Oh no! Okay, but you actually have to respawn. This is a trick. Respawn. Respawn. Oh my god. Jeez. Oh, respawn. This is so cheesy. This is exactly what the game developers wanted you to do, though, is, like, just crash quarters into the game like nobody's business. They're sitting back going, cha-ching! Cha-ching! This is why uh, game developers didn't mind making bosses insanely unfair back in the old arcade days. Because the more unfair the boss, the more money they made. Nothing can stop us. Let's go fight a giant crab. I'd like to kill an orca. Oops. Sorry, blue guy. Oh, you're on the wrong side of history now. Oh! Oh, wait, who died there? The red guy did. That'd be funny if you died in the level transition phase and then you got sent back to a checkpoint. Okay, we're in world P now. Oh god. Guys everywhere. I don't even care about power-ups anymore. They're, they're like a... You know, power-ups are a trap. You get them, and they really just, before you can even really take it full advantage of them, they're lost. It's a trick, man. Dirty trick. They just lure you into dangerous scenarios to try and get them. Oh, God. And then you're screwed. Like, I'm screwed right now. Bullets everywhere. Bullet- oh! I won't say it, but damn it. Okay, I'm focusing on the blue guy now. Oh, we got sent back a checkpoint. <sighs> uh. All right, we got to dig deep here. Come so far, we can't, we can't let it end like this. Oh, sorry, red ship. Oh, sorry, blue ship. Somebody respawn. Somebody has to be alive at all times. Oh, respawn, other guy. <laughs> Oh no, respawn other guy! Oh no, respawn other guy! The disaster of non-stop death- Respawn, dude! Oh god. Oh no! Okay, somehow that- Sometimes when you both die, it like, uh... Re resets- resets you, but sometimes it doesn't. I don't 100% know when it, it's gonna do what. But anytime it doesn't reset you when you both die is a win. 
for obvious reasons. Oh god. Here we go. Frankly, when uh, one guy has died, the priority isn't killing enemies, but getting the other guy to respawn. We can just pay our way. This is this is like literally a pay to win scenario. We're just dumping in quarters. Uh, and uh, that that's how we're winning. It's not through skill. I guess it's through determination and grit and money. You have enough money in this world, you can beat just about every video game back in the 80s, see? What is this thing? Oh, it's like, a oh no, it double teamed us. Oh, but it didn't matter. We have to die out of sync here. All right, perfect. <laughs> oh no. Come on, man. I feel like a shark has got to be one of the last dudes. I could see a stingray and a whale, maybe, being like the true last level boss. But, oh god. Oops. Alright. Nope, oh, nope, never mind. I wonder if there's a safe spot to survive. Oh, we both died. Oh, thank god it didn't, uh, checkpoint us. Oh god, no. Okay, one of us has to, I'm gonna suicide the blue guy. Oh, we- never mind, we killed him. I was gonna say, we have to intentionally go into out-of-sync kills, but it wasn't necessary as it turned out. <laughs> this victory music is so funny. Every time you beat the boss, it's like so cheery and upbeat after just being murdered a thousand times by an aquatic robo-battleship. All right, we're, we're going all the way to Z, folks. We made it to P, let's make it to Z. Or Z, we're now rushing into Zone Z. The Z Zone. I, I actually didn't expect this to be the next zone, but I guess it is. I just assumed Zone Z was going to be the end because it didn't seem like the levels were getting any closer to anything. It just was level after level. So I'm like, if we're at P, I guess we're going to Z. Oh, wow, there was a red guy in there, but I couldn't hit him. It wasn't fast enough. There's a blue guy in there. Oh, we got him, though. Hey, blue guy. Oh, there's a green guy. See, like, this level of enemies is okay. It's not in so insane that it's ridiculous, but it starts to get pretty crazy pretty fast. Oh, there's another green. Like, look at all these bullets. Like, how's one supposed to avoid that? <laughs> like, like, there's, there's no safe spot on the whole screen. Wait, what happened? I was trying to respawn the red guy there, but he did not respawn. Hold on, he's not... He's just game overed. I'm trying to respawn him, but he won't respawn. Oh, no. Maybe on the last level, they don't... Once you die, that's it? Oh, shit. Oh, that's it! Look, we had nine credits in there, but it wouldn't accept them. Well, we're just gonna get the high score together, buddy. First player and second player guy are in the arcade holding hands side by side, Thumb and Louise, and they both press go at the same time. Same initials, J. Um, well that sucks. I feel like there was another arcade game we played back in the day that did this to us, where you get to the end, and no matter how much money you've got in, you're not allowed to respawn and use continues. You're just straight up done. So, and now we're back to zone A, wow. Well, this has been Darius, one of the games in the book of thousand video games just play before you die. Um, to tell you the truth, I actually kind of want to look up what the book has to say about this and see if there's anything else unique about it. So uh, just enjoy this casual gameplay here while we, we try and do some little investigating on this, uh, on this game here. All right. Warning. Huge battleship approaching fast. The underwater explorers of Darius. Wait. Oh, this is an underwater-themed game. I knew some levels seemed water-themed, 
Guess it makes sense that all the battleships are fish-based. Uh, Darius signals the arrival of something large and scaly. A 1986 state-of-the-art visual gimmickry was seen uh, as the most effective way to draw and coin up punters. Punters. You can just tell this was written by a British guy. Punters is a word that is never said in North America. Beyond just cranking out bigger and faster sprites, blah, blah, blah. Taito's aquatic side-scrolling game arrived in an oversized cabinet that has not one but three monitors. That's why it's so wide. Because they were cleverly overlapped and reflected onto vertical monitors set far back, the effect was vivid widescreen panorama. Oh, that's very cool. That's very neat. Uh, makes me want to look up a picture. Let's do that next. Those who succumbed to Darius's slippery charms encountered the shoot 'em up equivalent of an extreme boot camp. Yep. Uh, Taito have lacked ambition with its core mechanics, but Darius submerged Parallax World's bizarre cast of inhabitants remain a deep sea wonder to this day. Yeah, that, that's kind of cool, actually. The idea that uh, you have this uh, big, wide um, arcade cabinet. Um, so let's look up Darius, Darius arcade cabinet. So there's an image of it. Kind of cool, actually. Uh, far set back has like a chair for you to sit in. That's neat. You know, if I ever see a Darius actually out in the wild, I think I'll give it a try just for the novelty of how wide the screen is. Um, but that's kind of cool. Anyway, guys, this has been uh, Darius, one of the games in the Book of Thousand Video Games just played before you die. What'd you think? Is it awesome? Do you remember playing it back in the day? Do you have any fond memories you'd like to share? If so, sound off in the comments down below. And as always, whatever you think of the game here today, hopefully my pain and suffering brought you a smile. It did, don't forget to like the video and all that stuff. Other than that, I'll catch you in the next one. You guys take care of yourselves in the meantime. And peace.